Marijuana is legal in California, that much is certain, but as 23ABC's Ken Masenchi tells us in a special report tonight, uncertainty remains at the county level while the city of Bakersfield holds tight to not allow any marijuana sales. It is still banned in the city. Selling any type of marijuana in Bakersfield is not allowed, but that doesn't stop shops from popping up throughout the city. It's like playing whack-a-mole where I'll shut one down, two more will open up. The fight to close these shops takes time. We follow the law, and what the law is, that's what we're going to enforce, and we're going to enforce it uh, um, across the board. Across the board in Bakersfield, you can only possess an ounce of marijuana or grow six plants. But at the county level, what to do with marijuana is still in question. As a business owner, you don't want uncertainty. Remember that word, uncertainty has become the buzzword for marijuana in Kern County. You want to know what's going to happen down five years down the road because in your head you've already had it planned out. Plans are on hold and nerves are high for medical marijuana shop owners like Will Dennis. It hasn't really affected us right now, but I worry about in the future. The it Dennis is referring to is Prop 64. Voters legalized marijuana in November, but Dennis and other shop owners say that checking yes on the ballot doesn't mean they can legally say yes to every customer who walks into their shop. A lot of shops, unfortunately, are allowing just anyone to come in. They've been doing it. Now they're recreational. They're doing it even more. This shop owner wanted to remain anonymous because he runs his shop separate from his full-time employment. Showing the stigma of being involved with pot didn't wash away with a yes on the ballot either. Don't be so quick to judge. You know, do your research, find out about stuff. People are trying to find out, with many attendees of last month's hemp and cannabis fair pointing to legalization as a reason for the good turnout. But still, uncertainty exists. We get patients or people that come here and think that because Prop 64 passed that they're actually allowed to come into shops and, and purchase product and unfortunately we can't do that so we have to turn them away. Confused customers, anxious owners and a county tasked with sorting it all out by the end of the year because licenses to sell recreational marijuana become available January 1st, 2018. My perfect world is if it was just made like tomatoes, you know, so it was just treated like a normal commodity and we could just grow it and sell it and let the market decide. That was not an option discussed in a county planning meeting last month. Instead, banning marijuana sales or allowing a limited number of shops to remain open throughout the county are the two plans being discussed. I'd welcome a limit. So, I mean, if you have a limit, I mean, then you know how many shops are going to be around. You know, they're going to be flourishing, they're going to be growing. Um, analyze each shop, see what they have, see how they're doing things. Environmental impact studies, taking a look at how the farming of the crop could impact Kern County. Potential revenue studies available in May should help the county supervisors come to a decision. This is a new industry. Those licenses are going to go quickly. If we don't make a decision now, we don't think that if we wait a few years to see how it turns out, that there actually will be an opportunity for us to recoup some of the fiscal revenue. We need to make the decision now. The county is also looking to Colorado, Washington, and other states that have previously legalized recreational marijuana for guidance. We are going to bring the best information so that if we allow this, they are going to be highly regulated, sophisticated operations in places that uh, don't necessarily impact our residences. As for the city of Bakersfield, they would welcome county pot shops. To me, yes, that would be a benefit. We'd get them out of the city into the county where they're accepted and could follow the rules of the county versus opening up in random locations throughout the city all year long. For now, all sides wait as uncertainty lingers. In Bakersfield, Ken Masenchi, 23, ABC. And the future of marijuana even more uncertain at the federal level with the new presidential administration considering harsher regulations on states that allow recreational marijuana just like our states.